Hey, what's up guys? So, um, today I'm finally starting my first Let's Play episode of Dark Tide. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, I'm gonna be going in solo today, but, uh, hopefully I will be joined by two, potentially three buddies, uh, playing this game in future episodes, hopefully the second episode. Um, I have one buddy named Drewski, uh, I may link to his channel below, um, he plays this game with me sometimes in our personal time. We don't, you know, we haven't started Let's Play or anything of that just yet. The way that I'm going to go about doing this structure is I'm not going to start a new character or anything like that. Um, I'm going to be doing an episode for each level. And then, then on, I may, like, after I do all the episodes for, you know, each level in the future, I may just, you know, do sporadic episodes like that. Potentially, like, you know, with these new conditions. Uh, it's been a minute since I've played this, so there is some new things in the game. I don't think there's any new levels. So, what mission are we going to do first? Do we want to do Transit Hub HL1611? I think we will. We'll have no visibility, which would be fine for me, because I'm a zealot. I'm going to be mostly focusing on melee. Well, at least we're be near the beginning of the mission. Game seems to be running quite fine today. I don't know why they would even hit that. I actually quite like the you no know, vis like you know the low visibility. Oh man, I don't want to pick up Nick Grimm more. Whatever, I guess we'll get corrupted by Papa Nurgle himself. That almost sounds like a demon host. I have not seen one of those in like a month now. Where are they where's she at? Yeah, we gotta take that guy out immediately. Oh man, I took a lot of damage right there. I better get to that immediately. I guarantee she's on the stairs or something. Man, I just love the Eviscerator. Well, she wasn't doing a great job of hiding. That hurt my eardrums. Oh, that tone doesn't sound the same. They reworked the box person. Sounds more like a like a knock. I actually kind of like it a little bit more. It sounded like an annoying little beat. Hmm. 
Come on, guys. Gotcha. And got you. If they walk into that demon host, I'm not gonna help them. I'm not gonna help them if they walk into the demon host. They're walking awfully close to it. Yeah, they're gonna fuck around and find out. You can even hear it start to kind of erupt a little bit because you're getting way too close to it. People worry way too much about finding flash steel and diamond, diamantine and all that. You shouldn't even be, because of the way this game works, you really shouldn't even be bothering upgrading weapons until you get to level 30 anyways and pretty much find a good weapon because of just how the weapon structure of this game works. Uh huh, that's skill right there. Not to shoot my own horn or anything. coming after me. I don't have the music on. That's unfortunate. The music's actually really good in this game. Just I think I could want to just play some of my own music or something when I was playing last. You know, it's, it's really not a hard game. It's really not. You just gotta play the way your class is intended to play at all. Yeah, he's coming for me. Oh, come on. That it was... Bull. Oh, you got a cope and seize, buddy. I haven't even used my gun yet. I don't know, the gun I have right now is not really that great, but... Yes, 
to track down our quarry. If you play as a zealot, guns are still important, especially on the later difficulties. But uh, I would really recommend using something like an auto pistol or something that shoots really fast. Or something, something more emphasis in close range because you're going to perform best at close range. You know, like your toughness region, perks, and all that. I'm just gonna drop the grim more. If we don't find the uh if we don't find it. I usually don't care too much about the second objectives, but it was right there. There's so other why not? Dude, that was gonna be it. It's always like something ridiculous, like oh, it's infection in a trash can. Gotta go dumpster diving. See, like you don't want to, you don't want to grab a grimoire if you're not planning on doing the mission, or if you know, like you're not gonna find the other one, you might as well get rid of it because, like, the grimoire, you know, obviously is like a Nurgle artifact. It's going to give you corruption, pretty much. See, like, if you see like those, those black spider web looking things like show up on my screen, that's like that's what that is. Okay. Corruption. God. mind like you have like some permanent corruption if you have a grimoire but you can get rid of it if you get rid of all your party's grimoire so I'm trying to remember what's the other artifact yeah yeah I'm just gonna get up here I guess I have to clear these guys out first. I'll just take them out from up here. I 
about time I got a better eviscerator. That's oh, the flashlight so pointless. We have done good work today, my companions. When you're good, shouty. I don't think the plague overruns are as well designed as the beast of their goal. See, like the the, the weak spot of it's a headshot. It really should be the plague furnace on the back of it. Jesus. Why would you hit that, dude? No way, we just fought one. I guess it's not the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I've one time had three demon hosts in one area. <laughs> God, that was close. I should have saw that coming. I just walked right into him. Give me the final kill. Yeah, buddy. That's seriously not activate. All right, get me away from that thing. Oh, I'm on fire. Too slow. Indeed. Watching your back. We don't hurry up, we're gonna get him in another horde. Inquisitor Grendel truly be a faithful scion of the God Emperor. The beneficent Emperor has given us a worthy leader. Do not need pay, just orders. Get your meds. Your body is in need of healing. Oh, I hit a lag spike. I think I'm a god. All specs reading striking. Proceed and catalog all pathogen traces. Could be a threat. I thought that was another. Monstrosity. Amo stash veteran. 
There's like almost no reason for him to throw that. Terry didn't really. I don't remember this area really looking like this last time. Oh, that looked like a grimoire. Oh, I still found it, anyways. Now we can finally die of the chaos cancer. Scriptures, that's what the other ones are called. Those ones are a little bit better in my opinion, but the only thing is, is that you have to carry three of them. So, dang it, I didn't have any like that. You have to carry three of them, so it makes missions like, uh, like assassination missions harder because uh, you should do assassinations with um, med kits all time. Pretty much. That's one really big improvement that you can hear now is the dialogue that they make. Before, they kind of just sounded like, you know, zombies and stuff, but now they sound a lot more like, you know, actual followers of Nurgle, which I think is a huge improvement because they're not just regular old, they're not zombies, you know what I mean? They're humans corrupted by one of the chaos gods. So, you know, they'll be laughing because they're in ecstasy despite the fact that they have, like, this, the 40k equivalent of Pacific on her face, pretty much. You know, they're a lot goofier enemies. See, like that, like that scream, like this is a, it's a lot goofier, you know what I mean? I think, I think it's a much better change. I know it's not, you know, accessible. It makes the game a little less accessible to, like, people who are not fans of 40k, because they don't necessarily know, but the 40k universe is not meant to be taken seriously.
speaking of bugs, it'd be awesome if they added Tyranids in this game, but there's like no way that the rejects would be able to fight them though. Man, we can't even get a chance to scan things. Someone died. Oh, you, dude, I thought I just killed him. Lobby system is not so great in this game. That's a horrible place for an ammo trade. That's a freaking trapper. He reminds me of like a coomer man. It's just his voice and the way he laughs. Give you something special. Keep moving or get dying. Just like puts you in the head. In the hot sexiness of the 41st millennium. There is only four in an electro fishnets. Oh, I completed a pants. Well, that was the first episode of Dark Tide. Um, this mission was called Have Draco. Looks like I leveled up a little bit and got some new feats. I'll check those out with y'all. Uh, and then I'll end this episode off. Yeah, they've had some... The game's definitely had a, some hiccups on the way to getting to this level of polish. The game's still kind of unpolished, but I definitely would recommend playing it now. Even if you're not, like, a 40k fan. Before, I can only really recommend it if you were a 40k fan and knew what you were getting into. But uh, it's gotten a lot more fun. I mean, you know, of course they're not going to bring back like the day one populations or anything like that, but. No, it's definitely gotten a lot better now. For a while, you couldn't play with high textures on Linux if you had an AMD card. I think it was the same thing with Nvidia cards too, but I don't know. I don't I don't play this game. I don't play I don't really play with Nvidia graphics. I just I use my Nvidia graphics for pretty much these videos and like gaming VMs and a Windows and Windows, but uh, man, I'm not even gonna lie. I haven't loaded that up and man, probably like I don't even think I've done it this 
I ain't done it in about three months. I think the last time I did it was when I did that video on gaming VMs to play a game, pretty much. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, let's check out the penances. Oh, well, I guess we can see what penance it was. It was a preacher thing, so it's like the amount of missions that you did. I don't care about range damage. Which one is martyrdom? I don't think I'm using martyrdom. Huh. Okay, let me do the math on that. So that'd be 15%, so 30%. That seems like a better deal to me. All right, we're just going to take a look at the cash shop. I don't buy anything out of this. I just want to see if they've actually added anything. And it does not look like they have. They have not added anything new in a couple months now. But at least this game doesn't suffer from, like, FOMO. You can actually go back and buy something if you want to buy something. I bought one thing, but I didn't, like, buy any of the credits or anything like that. Like, you know, the Aquilas. Those were things that I got with the Imperium Edition, because I bought the Imperium Edition of the game, mostly for the soundtrack. But anyways, uh, that's my first episode of 40k Dark Tide. Um, if you like the video, like and subscribe, check out my other Linux gaming content. If you want to make the switch to Linux, um, check out my video essays and my guides. I'm planning on pumping out some more guides pretty soon, because I'm kind of running dry on video essay content. Um, hopefully my next episode will have at least one buddy playing but ideally two or maybe even three if i can convince my other friend that i play games with to play dark tide uh he's very picky about the games that he likes to play but um i might be able to coax him in if we have two other players besides me playing uh anyways uh, i hope to see y'all guys in the next video um peace